It's May 7th. I don't have all my soybean fields planted. Now what do I do? I'll tell you one thing that would be number one on my list is if you were not planning to use a, a, a seed treatment on your soybeans, make sure that you do get a good seed treatment. And I would get a premium seed treatment because you look at this field behind me and you might have had areas with a little bit of the fungus that causes damping off disease, phytophthora root rot out there. But as time has progressed with this continued rain and as things warm up, think of this field as a Petri dish, which is just gonna explode with fungi. You plant beans into that, you are going to have less yields. You're going to have less stand and you're going to have, you're not going to have healthy plants. Seed treatment, got to do it guys. I would include soybean inoculant because these wet conditions are not favorable for the Brady rhizobium that normally create the nodules that is that nitrogen engine for your soybean roots. Uh, get an inoculant on there and uh, make sure we're putting in something for SDS. Landis has an acre edge enhanced premium seed treatment that has multiple fungicides to help with these various uh, different diseases, including uh, SDS. This is the year to spend a little more up front and get the best stand possible. It will pay out in bushels later on, guys. Um, that's my number one recommendation. My second recommendation is if you haven't done this, go back and look at the varieties that you haven't planted and make sure those varieties have good field tolerance to Phytophthora root rot. I've been doing this for 45 years. There are years like 1983 and uh, 1993 uh, that were extraordinarily wet and we had phytophthora root rot problems come in and it was because the varieties just did not have a good resistance. And you say, well, Dan, I'm planting RPS1K gene beans. They got multiple races of resistance to phytophthora root rot. They also have been used for about 30 years and guess what? Mother nature has adjusted and there are some races that have escaped that genetic resistance and will kill your beans. So you check to make sure the field tolerance scores that the company gives there are, are, are still good. I would, I would look at field tolerance first and specific genetic re, uh, um, resistance second and use a good seed treatment. It's the best information I can give you guys as to what's happening right now. When you do go out and plant, resist the temptation to go too early because you'll fight it all year long. Dan Bjorklund, Landis Technical Agronomist with the Grill Solution Center, signing off till next time. We'll have a report next week, all the way through the season on both corn and beans on the Virtual Agronomy channel. Thanks guys. And make sure, if you haven't, that you, you subscribe to this channel because and uh, you'll get a notification when, when we're putting these out because these are gonna be really important in 2024. This is gonna be the year of disease. Thank you.